Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. You're now watching episode 2. So without further ado, let's get started. So we need to go to the common room. I've actually enjoyed playing the first bit of this, so we need to go down or up. Okay, going the wrong way. Hang on. Uh, but that's the only door, isn't it? No? Okay. Okay, so I need to go up. Now, which way is the common room? Okay, okay, so what was that? Did you just move? Hmm, okay. Ooh. Oh, I need to... Ooh, what was that? Oh, hello. Hi, whoever you are. Must be different, starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Oh yeah, totally. It's really something. Okay, so this must be the common room. Nice. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. Oh, who's that? Imagine starting new school this late. Who's that? That girl. Don't fall off get this time, Nelly. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay, do I need to go over here? I hope the professor catches her this time. Um, can you, excuse me, um, how do I get you down? Uh, Don't fall off this time, Nelly. Nelly, think she is, anyway. Okay. Nelly, please get down. You'll like it, trust me. Sure okay. you don't want to try it? All right. Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you, I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig were all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Okay, mm that must be nice. That must be awkward, then you can do whatever you want. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, okay. she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Okay. Uh... Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Thank you. All right, so I need to... If I'm honest, she gets bored. Sorry. Professor could arrive any moment. Uh, oh, hang on, let me go over to here. Wait, that's not right. I really thought I had it. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Uh, I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Mm. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? 
Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Thank you. Right. So, Nelly. If we were simply Who doesn't know you think she is anyway? For first a thrill. Day. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Yes. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside without a broom. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey, I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts for that matter. Nice to meet you. What are other people saying about my travels here? What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I can see that. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Bye for now. New oh. Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'll just... Oh, that statue just moved. Hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? Yes. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. All Especially right. as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Thank you. Oh, it's a book. Here you are. Wow. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. All right. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic Ooh, and who's educate that? yourself about wizarding law. Okay. Who's that? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Nice. Ah, 
The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. <coughs> <laughs> Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see. Revelio. Nice. The portrait of Pete's wizard. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. 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 Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Actually, I want to check something. Can I... Okay, I haven't... Okay. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Okay. Why am I holding a wand? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Okay. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, M. Okay, continue. Okay. Okay. Hall. Okay, we want to go to Okay. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Not the best idea. Okay. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh... Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, you. your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Mm. Hang on. My suspicions is that there is more to the story. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. 
Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Thank and you. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Thank you, Professor. All right. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, okay. Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Okay, um... Main quest... Completing main quests will further the story. New features and grant XP. Nice. Okay, so I need to go there. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Right, so we need to go to Defense of the Dark Arts. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I need to go up here. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump into you. be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. 
Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Levioso. Very good. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso. well done. Hmm, interesting. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso, this can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do. Levioso. Levioso. Use the basic cost when your opponent's guard is down. Nice. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Hmm. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you, Professor. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. Nice work. Thank you. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. All right, thank you. Till next and time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes this episode. And I'll see you in episode three.